What up, man? We're back, y'all. Right here, B-Side Show. Real quick, I just want to say, man, it's really important for everyone to build together and network together, regardless of what who you represent, who you are and stuff, man. That's the only reason we're all going to succeed. So, people, let's just work together and build together, man. Just wanted to go ahead and stress that. Thank you. Yes, sir. And that's right. And also, uh, chip into the B-Side Fund and everybody just give us some money and we can be live happily ever after. All right. Yes. Hey, check it out. <laughs> Check it out, man. We're back, bsideshow.net. And uh, this is a platform here, like we were talking about, like what you guys are building it, it is also a platform. Um, is there anything specific you look for um, setting up these events? I wanted to talk about that before we talk about the new project, but is it like, you know, you like to have a, a, a wide variety of different styles or... I mean, well, how, how is how is it that I'm you not, guys do? I'll let you speak on this green because you're doing. He's doing more setting up shows right now. Okay. But I used to promote before too. So, you know what I'm saying? So, um, I wore that hat before. I just don't like to get involved too much. But the recent show we just did, um, I just use it as a reference. We just we just did Lampo and I did with uh, Owen. I know you guys know Owen. Oh yeah, yeah. Here. Shout out to Owen, the whole team, man. Uh, Na- no Hood Kenny. You know what I'm saying? Mike Hempstead was out there, um, and the do it for music tour and that and that pretty much leaves it open as far as um who i can bring out so there was three singers there you know what i'm saying sk ill auxiliary was there um putrid did a live set and my whole thing was just to have quality openers you know what i'm saying quality just performers you know period um so that's my whole thing that i that i look at because you, we all been to those shows and you're like what the fuck you know what i'm saying who the hell is this or like <laughs> I'll get a text, like, yo, dog, how come you ain't opening this show? Like, who is these guys? I'm like, you know, it's just about quality openers. And just because the door is there, you can't just don't walk you don't walk through it just because the door is there. You know what I'm saying? Get your shit right. Get your shit tight and, and, and get it in. That's what I look hey, for. Hey, hey, what it, <laughs> hey, but I know exa- what's funny is I know exactly what you're saying. And, and for those, let me put it real simple. It is an open invite. Um. But at least, like, perfect your craft, be dope, be ready to perform. Don't just, you know, go out there thinking you're busting in your garage for your homies. Like, go out there and do a real <laughs> show, man. But it is open, and that's what he's saying. I feel you, dog. I mean, I know what you're saying. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> that's right. Uh, uh, you got anything to add to that, man? Um, Just perfect your craft. You know, I want to, you know, the people I have coming out to the first show, I know pretty much all of them except two of them and um so i mean i, I those other two i'm really kind of giving them that shot you know because i've been there before we all we all been there when we started you know we know where we started from so we were we need those doors you know we need to be able to have somebody extend that hand and be like all right let's see what you got and they do their thing man you're gonna you know what i mean you're gonna get that crowd you're gonna get that reputation and and that's what my lyricist lounge is all about it is it is a door opening for my community because I mean, anybody that knows Santa Maria, it's it's a box. I mean, people are kind of trapped and they just keep hitting the walls and of music. You know what I mean? Like they want to hear that top 40 all the time and get freaking destroyed in the head with that crap. You know? Yeah, so. yeah. They need that. They need that outlet, man. They hear yeah. that that uh, that raw shit. Hey, hey. Uh, the the projects, man. Uh, go ahead and talk about it, Mike Bless, man. You you guys got some that you so, guys put out yeah the uh pay dues part two do we have a copy somewhere here somewhere maybe um pay dues part two um it really was uh me and Greenleaf uh came together some of the some of the uh the songs on here are are, are throwbacks and um it's really just a testament and a tribute to paying dues dog you know what i'm saying and um i think when you when you when i think it, it, in order to have that respect for hip hop, um, I think it does. Sometimes it, it you do have to shed a little bit of, a little bit of blood and a little bit of sweat. You know what I'm saying? A little bit of tears, man, to be able to respect it. And then in that aspect, you know what I'm saying? So that's what Pay Dues was for me um, as an album. And then I, sh- I Greenleaf's been my DJ, so we've been trying to do a project together. So I shot him the the, the CD, uh, at the, the 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 tracks. And then uh, he just pretty much brushed his paint brush on it and shot it back to me, and I didn't change it. And it's a mixtape. It's not a <laughs> cats be having mixtapes, but it's like a bunch of songs together. That's not to me. That's not a mixtape. To me, it's about putting. It's actually mixing the records, so the records are mixed down. You know what I'm saying? So when you when you hear it, the numbers change, but the shit just mixes. 
You know what right, I'm saying? Right, There's right. a lot of little, yeah, yeah, yeah. like, like, yeah, like, to, like, uh, shout out to DJ Tony G, man, OG in this motherfucking game. But that, yeah, that's originally what a mixtape was is supposed to, yeah. yeah. Don't it's take like, it the wrong way. I'm just saying. No, that's how, no. that's my that's what I'm See, coming from. Yeah. On it. Hey, I like I like the way he, uh, uh, Mike Bless is respectfully teaching. Hey, that, yeah. that's I gotta right. throw disclaimers out, man. <laughs> that's right, man. People are sensitive. Hey, my you know my favorite ones that you used to hear is when like the DJ drops it like every like two minutes and shit their name and stuff like that. No, no, <laughs> <laughs> nah. Those, those are you gonna know. Hilarious. You know what? We have um, download it on uh. MikeBless.Bandcamp.com That's M-I-C-B-L-E-S dot Bandcamp.com And um, there's a lot of drops on there from uh, different artists and I'm not even going to you know, drop names on it but listen to it there's a lot of dope little features and drops on there that, that's going to surprise some people and man and then they just you know shout out to them for, for giving me that stamp you know Dope. what I'm saying on, on my mixtape or whatnot. you know what I'm saying Dope. Nice, man. So, nice. Yeah. Let me let, let me ask you something, man, because I know Wacko um, might catch you off guard with with some of his DJ Clue. Sorry, yeah, man. Yeah. I just wanted it. <laughs> with some of his. <laughs> hey, that would have been cold. I say no, and then you listen to me like that motherfucker lied. In, huh. in depth analysis by Wacko, but hey, no. But I wanted to ask you, um, um, respectively, as the the MC and as, as the DJ. Um, that it was influences like when you guys first started like really um feeling hip-hop any any influence and it doesn't just have to be hip-hop artists though but is there influences right. that um made you want to uh, take it to another level man yeah i mean starting out um you know being from the west coast um it was there was always like you know i just gotta say it's, it's dre snoop it's tupac more than anything and then um be real um definitely that fool was a spitter so i was like you know i was really in tune with what he was doing and then and then nas and then wu-tang and then mob d and um i might be missing some of the west coast exhibit later but i was already like in the game you know what i'm saying so it was a little different but um besides that as far as west coast but then i lived in virginia for a year so i i I started hearing the music from there locally, and it just changed everything. You know hey, what I'm isn't it like T- Timbaland from yeah. VA, right? And t- that's like one of my favorite producers, right there, dog. Like Timbaland got that wild, like style, dog. But shout out to Timbaland, man. He's gonna be on our show next week. So, no, nah, I'm just no, kidding. Yeah. I'll <laughs> be like, back. He's I'm all back. He's no, like, no shit. shit. <laughs> <laughs> and why'd you pick me today? Hey, how about you, man? How about you, Green Lee? Um, well, just some music influences, I guess, a variety, just because of my parents and my older, you know, siblings. I mean, my mom listened to like anything from classical to Nat King Cole to uh, country, and then my pops, you know, Mexican music. Uh, he's from Texas, so Tex-Mex. You know, what I mean, it's a lot different than this, the Cali Mexican music. Um, my brother, you know, he, he kind of got me into like, you know, what Bless was talking about the West Coast, like classic Snoop and Dre and all them. But then as I got older, I kind of, you know, getting more into, um, like jazz and reggae. I don't know how I just kind of got into that stuff. And then, uh, like, you know, and then it's, <laughs> yeah, hey. my name's Greeny for a reason back in the day, you know? Uh, 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 yeah, I yeah. I started getting all that mellow uh, drama, what, like, what, what is the sounds. Gre- what does the Greenleaf stand for? Sounds for a higher power. Yeah, right? there, there, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> there you go, man. You know, hey, but... Hey, you could do a sick mashup, though, with just all the stuff you just mentioned, like, put some classical and so you know what I'm yeah. saying? So classic rock and some hip-hop and mash it all together, man. That's yeah, but, is. like, in the mid-'90s is when I really got into it, especially with my boys, like, just growing up and get into like I started trying to break dance back in the day and then like hit my growth spur and I just felt like I was just too tall for that shit because all the boys were all like you know 5'2 and 5'3 doing flares and windmills and 90s and I'm still busting my ass you know like so I, all that you know you know boom bap stuff back in the early 90s like KRS and um, Mad Lion and Tribe of course and uh, stuff like that man that's right. Dope ass influences too, man. And what well rounded too, man. And and you know, every once in a while I try to bust out my old, you know, breakdance moves. Yeah, but, don't ask me. Don't ask me almost, to do anything. Uh, I almost dislocated my me. hip like 
you know, a couple of weeks ago, I tried it, almost dislocated my hip doing a windmill. So I said, fuck yo, it. Yo, but everybody could do an alpha. So like everybody could do an alpha. <laughs> See, you got to at least be able to do an alpha, right? Like that's right. like the if ground. Anything. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Or I could pop, I could pop lock. No. <laughs> hey, hey, are you guys uh, doing? What you, what you guys got uh, coming up, man? You guys got some new stuff in yeah. the works too. Yeah, um, I'm dropping a a new album. Um, I don't have a date on it right now because I'm, I'm I'm waiting on some of the uh, you know the behind the scenes stuff. The album's done, it's ready to go. I got a new video coming out with Sinuous, Sinuous Productions. Shout out to Sin, and um, we didn't we didn't get it in time for today, but it should be a couple weeks and um. You know, I know we talked about bringing it out. You know, hopefully we could we could do a premiere for y'all and I, I, and not a not a like a not like it's out and then premiere. No, it's going to premiere here. You know what I'm saying? So well, we stay we, tuned for that. Oh, we're 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 prepared for that too, man. We got the world <laughs> premiere trailer and all that That's, stuff. Oh, man. oh, we're okay, like, cool, yeah, cool, cool. Man, so uh, and it's I recorded the whole album in, uh, the whole album in Germany. So I the the backstory on it, man. I went to Germany for like a month and then uh, we ended up just get, like. They were gassing me up, like, let's do an album, let's do an album, you're here. And I was like, hold on. Like, everybody that doesn't rap is trying to get me to do an album, right? And I'm like, all right, yeah, well, hold on. One song at a time, and then one song at a time became a full album, and then um, I never released it. I've been sitting on it, and so I think right now it's perfect timing to be able to release that album. And we call it the same way album, but we, we working on a title right now, the graphics and stuff like that, but that's my next album it's fully recorded in germany i'll probably do two releases one out here one out there and then um i'll, I'll probably do some remixes some songs here so that's coming up and i know we got a video for that too so we, we we talk about all that that all the time here on the show though but the, the international audience for for hip-hop is fucking amazing dog like um they're like what we were at the, like i guess late 80s early 90s when yeah. motherfuckers were renegade hip-hop fans like that's what they are over you know germany oh, right, man right. um uh where, where else they they be uh brazil just, um just uh, third world countries bro. oh yeah basically <laughs> no but we have a lot of uh, a lot of the guests that we have on the show man they get a chance to tour over there yeah. switzerland yeah. and all this stuff and and they're really really digging hip-hop man so yeah and I, I watched a show or two that you know i'm saying cast was on it and i know a lot of cast from la going out there too so that's always the thing too when i noticed when i was out there the first time that like you know, linking up with these artists when they're, they're out there, it's all love too. You know what I'm saying? We all gotta piggyback each other's shit and help each other out. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. And there's there's a couple, a few dudes that did that I did reach out to when I was there and did holler back. You know what I'm saying? So, um, like I said, man, you but you gotta be you gotta be willing to, to put the work in and just get get just get up and get out there, man. You gotta get out there. You know what I'm saying? So that's what I'm gonna do, and I'm planning to release it. Uh, you know, here this year, and I'm planning to go back. So we'll see what it is. So you know what? Fuck this, man. You know what? We got live shit right here on the B-Side yeah, show. Yeah, yeah. And that's yeah, how we're yeah. going to do it, man. DJ Greenleaf, Mike Bless going to go back and forth. But right after this video, you want to lead into the video? And then we'll come back with the performance. Yeah, yeah. The video's called the same way. It's Mike Bless. It's so lying. Simon. Simon. Uh, he changed his name. But you know what it is, man. We did it. We did it all in uh, Germany. In Bonn City, Germany, man. The whole joint. You know what I'm saying? It's a throwback, but I'm about to put this album out. We got a new video coming for y'all, but this is the same way, man. Bon City, Germany, real shit, man. That's what it is, B-Side Show. Mike Bless, DJ Greenleaf, we'll be right back. <laughs>